Alright, welcome back to Dungeon Defenders. This is part three of Act Three, in which I am defending three crystals. <laughs> and this level has been known to give me a pretty good amount of trouble in the past. So I do have to be careful with it. Because I can screw it up real easy. And I mean real easy. So, let's see. This one clear over here. They put all of your starting mana boxes all in these weird places on this map. And then... It's just kind of a pain to go find them all. They're in far-reaching corners and up in places where you never have to go ever again anyway, so... Um, as usual, I do have to keep in mind wyverns and ogres, but luckily, or not luckily, actually, but the difference is on this one, ogres come from all directions. At one point, ones, um, I think they actually throw them in all at once, but some will come from right across from this stair set right here, from up there somewhere. I don't remember which door it is, but up there. And then, ogres also come from these two side stairs. So, it's a little problematic. But not to fret too much. It just, it just means that I have to spread out my defenses a little more. I can't just focus all of my anti-ogre problem fixers in one area. I just have to be aware of a lot more of the map. But it won't kill me. Another one of those situations where it took me a while to figure out the map, but once I got it figured out, it's, it's no longer a problem. And it's another situation, again, where the map is way harder with the Apprentice. I mean, way harder. And I don't get it either. There's, there's really no need for it to be that much harder with the Apprentice. Technically, the Apprentice is rated as the easier character to use, but good god if this character isn't just beefy. So, right at the top of these stairs. Boom. Both sides covered. Actually, now that I think about it, this right side doesn't see the ogre as much as the left. At least facing this direction, anyways. Um, for now, I think that's actually all of the turrets we... Well, I may as well get my others planned out. About there-ish. That would be good. Okay, and then another round. Of, wow, they only start me off with 25 guys. They start me off with 100 on the last one. It's actually disappointing from a money standpoint. And the next round, I'm gonna get slice and dice at the bottom of this turret or this stair set here. And uh, crap. I do need some harpoons up top here pointing towards those crystals, because that's where the wyvern show up, is over at those two crystals. Alright, give me all my money so I can get whatever upgradiness I can. This here. Wow, I'm leveling up all over the place. This is not expected. Oh, yep, I need wyverns now. Right now. AoE doesn't matter so much. I want to put two on my speed because I just lost a bunch. Okie dokie then. I guess we'll start up.
Whoopsie. Don't want to get too far into the fray. This is one nice thing about working with uh, the Squire here that the Apprentice doesn't have going on for him, is the Squire is just all about pure damage. Just damage, damage. A lot of what the Squire does, or the Apprentice does, is elemental. You have a fire turret, you have a lightning turret, and I guess you have the magic missile, which is just untyped magic. It's arcane, but it's not, you know, the electric or the fire or anything, but... He's got a type of damage that just, I don't know, the Squire's just more pure, if you want to think of it in those terms. Just, I don't know, I like him better. Yeah, overall, I like him better than the Apprentice, I guess, just to put it in simple terms. Hey, guys. Hey, Goliath. How you doing? Whoa. No, don't hit me. Why don't you go hit my bladed whirligig over here? Bad archer, no biscuit. Whoa. Okie dokie. I obviously clearly have enough money to send some uh, upgrades to at least level one of these harpoons up here looking at the wyverns. At the very least, I can get them a level one upgrade. Ah, always interruptions. Anyways, also didn't figure you wanted to see a bunch just upgrading and building. I don't know, maybe you did, but oh well, I skipped over a little bit. Not much. I don't know where to go get money. Run away! I don't want to fight you, I just want monies. Aha! Where? The top side one. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And that is why three harpoons are pointed at him. Righto, I guess I should probably come down here and drop some of that money on this slice of dice, because he'll be dealing with an ogre next round, too. Come on. Come to me, money. That doesn't make me sound like some sort of crazy, greedy bastard, does it? So the enemy count on this one seems so much lower. I'm not sure why this is a higher difficulty. I, I, I don't know. The... Oh, the ogre on this side's a lot higher level. That's a red ogre. Took me a while to figure this out, actually. Red? Or any color. The color of the enemy's skin actually is a sign of how difficult they are in, within their species, or however you want to put it. But... It's actually a sign of like how much health they have and how much damage they do as that type of enemy. So I mean, that last ogre that came in from the top here, he's a yellow. And you can see that this one's going to be yellow too, he's the bottom one there. But the one coming out of the bottom is red. Which means I may have a problem. 
Well, now I'm scared about this direction because this is going to be hit hard. But I've got the most upgrades pointed this way, so I think I'm I think I'm set. Bottom ogres here already. Nice if I could get 400 bucks before he shows up and get this other turret upgraded. Really nice. Yes. Okay, now I just have to worry about my casting speed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, he's getting hit hard. Oh, he's going down. I got this. I got this. Beautimus. Now the top over's here. Well, he's done. That didn't last long. I didn't even get to see him. Ow! Why? Yeah, I knew I said I had to put my upgrades more evenly about the field, but uh, the prospect of a red ogre kind of freaks me out. Right. Oh, there's two ogres. I'm glad I upgraded this. There's a red and a yellow. The red's up front. I'm backing up. I am backing up. I am backing up. I am backing up. I am backing up. Okay. Oh, look at his health go down, though. That's what I love. And they're both down. And the upper ogre's ready. Oh, he's a red. Oh, he's a red. Oh, he's a red. I didn't plan on that. I did not plan on that. Ow! Still know I can handle it. The turret will live. It'll be hard, but or it'll take some damage, but it'll live. Okay, he's down. Wow. And now everything's pretty much good to go. Upgrading it just for the sake of the heals it gives. But at this point I'm pretty much golden. Dealing with red wyverns, although that doesn't seem to be a problem for these harpoons. Whoa. Nope. No problems here. It's a little bit terrified of the dual ogre showing up down below, and then I was not prepared for a red to be up top, but it all worked out. Kinda panicked over nothing. It's it's all good. Two more somethings, what are they? A couple of kobolds coming up on the other side of there. And there we go. And I ding again! Twice in one level. That's pretty awesome. Activate! Damage. Damage. Run speed, cast time, and I guess actually another run speed. Okay, well, there you go. Leveling up faster than I ever really expected to be. And, uh, kind of breezing through these, but here's the catch. The next one is the final level. Which means boss. Which means huge pain in the ass. We'll see you on the next one.